Hey everybody, it's Aisa for Us Naturals and I'm here with the next installment for the Natural Hair Basics uh, series for uh, all my new naturals. So, um, you may remember from the last video, which was the How to Wash Natural Hair video, where I mentioned a lot of different kinds of shampoos or types of cleansers or ways of cleansing your hair and you probably were not familiar with all of them because why would you be? So I am here to clear up the crazy about all of this type of cleansing. So here's a flash of some of the different types of things we're going to be talking about. First we're going to start off with moisturizing shampoos. So first up for my moisturizing shampoos is my Shea Moisture Shampoo. I've been using this for a couple of months now because it's been lasting me that long. And this is the Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and like I said, um, it's pretty good. It's got a nice soft pearly type of texture or look to it. Um, and it's for dry damaged hair. It's got sea kelp and argan oil. Um, I really like it. It is sulfate free, which I'll get into a little bit farther down in this video, but pretty good stuff. And like I said, it's uh, a moisture retention shampoo, pretty good uh, for moisture if that's what you're looking for with your shampoo. I also just started using the Giovanni Smooth as Silk Deep Moisture Shampoo. I've always used the conditioner, but the shampoo, hmm. So I decided to buy it and it's just been sitting around and I decided to try it the other day. And this says it's the new and improved formula for even silkier hair and I gotta say, it's pretty good. Not, you know, uh, drying or, or any of that type of stuff. Well, not on my hair anyway. Um, it's enriched with grapefruit, apple aloe, uh, for dry, damage, control, frizz, add shine, that sort of stuff. And I got a couple of others that uh, I don't use quite so much, but um, the Dark and Lovely Au Naturel line, the anti-shrinkage, hydrating uh, soak shampoo. Hydrating, of course, means that it's adding some sort of uh, hydration or moisture. So um, I don't really remember exactly how this did for my hair, but you can check out that video. Here's the link. Or down below in the description box. Um, for that and you can uh, check this one out as well because it does say that it is a uh, moisturizing shampoo and it has ma mango oil and bamboo milk okay and I have this from beautiful textures it has the word moisturizing right there tangle tamer moisturizing shampoo it is full to the top I don't think I've ever used it but uh, once again just basically look for things that say moisturizing in the title and uh, check it out and see if that works for you Okay, so now we're to protein shampoos. Um, I don't really have any protein shampoo, although I think I'm going to get up on that because my hair seems to really dig protein and I did not know that before, but I know it now, okay? Um, actually, the Smoothest Silk Deeper Moisture Shampoo does have, uh, it says plus vegetable protein. So it's probably a light protein in here. That would be good if you just wanted to go light with a protein. And um, I did go online and look up some protein shampoos for you guys if that's something that you're interested in. So we have here um, the Vatica, something from L'Oreal, and of course Aubrey Organics GBP. Now I have actually heard of that shampoo. So um, you can go and check those out and I'll see if I can find a place for you to find them or read about them online and I'll put the links down below. Now we're down to clarifying shampoos. So what the heck is a clarifying shampoo? It's basically a shampoo that you would use if you had like a lot of uh, buildup uh, from products that you know uh, you just use too much of it over the amount of time since your last wash or even some products that do not wash off with just like a really soft gentle type of shampoo or soap uh, so it basically really gets your hair kind of squeaky clean whereas a moisturizing shampoo you want it to have a little bit of a softness a little slip going through the hair this one you want it to just get everything off of it. Um, it's recommended to do this at least once a month. Uh, so if you're doing other types of pooing throughout the, uh, throughout the month, at least cleanse everything off once a month. Um, and some people may have to do it more often depending on what kinds of products you're gonna be using. And I just use a regular simple uh, VO5 Herbal Escapes Clarifying Shampoo and Kiwi Lime Squeeze, and I love it. Gets my hair nice, squeaky clean, fresh and clean, all that stuff. Now, if you wanted to go for a more, say, natural approach, a lot of people like using ACV, apple cider vinegar. 
and this will naturally remove product buildup and all kinds of crap that you might have on your hair including like silicones and all that sort of stuff that's really really hard to get off but even just regular product putting on a lot of it will you know build up on the hair so that uh, will help to get all of that stuff off your hair and your scalp and it also because it's acidic will close the cuticle of the hair uh, some people like to follow their apple cider vinegar rinse with baking soda and that actually opens up the thing so uh, that's also another way that you can wash your hair in a natural sort of way is with baking soda and some people like to combine it so you can do whatever it is that you wish to do with those two things um, also this is a very much a clarifier and this is going to be in the another part of this video but I guess I can mention it now um, using clay washes and things like that uh, like bentonite clays Russell's Terra essentials are um, basically clarifiers as well because uh, they're clay and they're very very gentle on the hair but they do remove like everything off of it and a lot of people uh, boast about mm, more popping curls after using those sorts of things so those are things that you can use to clarify your hair to remove product buildup okay what the heck is a cold poo okay here it is. Co-pooing means co-shampooing, which means conditioner shampooing, which means conditioner washing, which means washing your hair with conditioner, okay? So this is in the wash uh, product videos because people are washing their hair, although they're using a uh, conditioner to do so. So, all right, some favorites for doing co-washing is our cheapy DP um, little conditioners that we can get for about 99 cents or a dollar 25 or such um bo5 um i have the what is this passion fruit smoothie uh, moisture milk strawberries and cream um and people love hello hydration uh, for co-washing and co-washing is basically like I said using a conditioner to wash your hair uh, it's an attempt to not strip your hair of all of its moisture so using a conditioning agent just helps to soften it and I guess the water and the loosening up uh, with your fingers as you would with using a regular shampoo would help to remove some of the debris while not stripping the hair um, they also have products that are pre-formulated as co-washes and I think uh, there are some people who are very much against co-washing because they're like conditioner cannot clean your hair so they have co-washing uh, products which are actually cleansers they have a uh, light softer cleansers in them but a lot of uh, the smooth feel of conditioner so your hair still has nice slip and it's really easy to get through and all that other sort of stuff without ever really having to strip it and go through the whole sudsing up motion um, Pantene I freaking love this stuff from the first time that I've ever used it I really I just dig it it's it's kind of freaking awesome and I was supposed to do a review on it but then I didn't really have anything to compare it with because I haven't really tried any other co-washes um, and I still haven't to this day although I am supposed to be trying the as I am uh, coconut co-wash and I wanted to really try the Eden Body Works one of their co-wash products either the Manoy or the coconut I mean I, I just have to see um, which one I would try and maybe I'll try to do a uh, reviews on those in the future but uh, there are co-wash products and those are not just regular uh, conditioners like these they are actually cleansing products that are formulated just to be a little bit more creamy like a conditioner but also with some cleansing agents okay no poo what the heck is a no poo I have to be honest I did not have any idea so I had to go online and kind of google it because I've heard the term before but I don't really know what the heck it means um, I know that some people use like powder shampoo don't even ask me how that works or even sea breeze on their scalp with like a little sponge or whatever um, but yeah it isn't even that no poo is basically a lot of the things I've already been talking to you about like uh, co-washing, sulfate free shampoos and uh, apple cider vinegar and things on your hair that basically don't require you to use a really really harsh shampoo with a lot of those uh, sulfates and like I told you sulfates are basically like uh, chemical agents on your hair that are usually used just specifically for the lathering because people a lot of people just really need the lather to feel like their hair is getting clean but lather doesn't get your hair clean okay so um, no poo is basically any 
type of way that you get your hair clean without using a traditional shampoo. So that's about all I'm gonna say about that. And last but not least, we're gonna be talking about those clay and mud washes. Um, I already kind of mentioned it, but uh, Terra Essentials is a uh, mud wash. It's a little thick in the bottle right now, so I don't wanna really mess with it. But um, as you can see, it's kind of brown um, and you blend it up and it's mud. And I know you might feel a little weird and grossed out about putting mud on your hair, but it's not like mud mud, like we went outside and like got it outside. It's like uh, this really cool type of clay mud that draws impurities out of your hair. So it's gonna get it clean, like really, really clean. And like I said, it makes your curls pop for any of these uh, washes. And that would be bentonite clay, which is probably the most basic one that people use. But people also use Rasul clay. And I'll try to put the names of all this stuff down at the bottom. And Terra Essentials is a, a name brand product that basically mixes it uh, up together for you and gives it a nice scent. And this is a lavender garden, but I know I think they have like a, I don't know, like a pumpkin sort of one or a lemon one or whatever. But you can check out their website uh, for different types of those or you can make your own blends of bentonite and Brussel clay and add your own essential oils the way that you want to and cleanse your hair naturally that way. So I hope that I have cleared up all of the confusion that goes along with all these types of pooing and not pooing and co-pooing and shampooing and low pooing and all of that. So any more questions? Ask me down below. But I I don't think there are going to be any more questions. No more questions. No more questions. I cleared it up. <laughs> Until the next time. I can't wait to talk to you guys again. Bye. Make sure you check out the other videos in the Natural Hair Basics series so you can learn to pre-poo and detangle and wash your natural hair.